I suspect you have questions. you have questions. Hey Wolfpack, first off, I know it's been a while since I put out a video, but what better time to reignite the pack than with the first Dragon Age 4 teaser trailer from last night's Game Awards. And oh my god guys, I lost my shit when I saw the Bioware logo randomly pop up and the music slowly came in. After years of speculation and waiting, we finally get some official Dragon Age 4 content. And yes, it's only a 59 second long trailer, but it might be the most exciting 59 seconds of my life in any DA fan. So, while this isn't going to be a full breakdown of speculation since there isn't much but there is enough to get those conspiracy theories rolling. So kind of let's kick it off. First off, we know that this is the Red Lyrium Idol from Dragon Age 2. However, what seems like now is that the idol is not molded after interesting like I thought and so many others thought, but instead after an elven god, potentially maybe Mathal. Uh, given that we know Mathal was murdered and that that this idol seems to show a woman shielding people and since Mathal was seen as the mother and protector of the elven people the idol may depict Mathal shielding her people from something if I had to venture a guess I'd say it was from the other Evanuris or perhaps something worse maybe the blight uh, maybe a enemy attack but it seems like it's that person shielding uh, those people that's actually under her if you look at the idol now so um, now we know that Mathal was killed by the Evanurus. However, Soda says that his people don't die so easily as we all know because Mathal inhabits the body of Flemeth. Um, but we never found out how Mathal was actually killed. We don't know what killed her, what did the Evanurus use, if it was a blade, was it um, magic, we really don't know. But perhaps she was slain with Red Lyrium. Since the idol seems to be succumbing to it in the video, as to why or how the nurse came into possession of Red Lyrium, I have a theory on that, but I'll dive into that on another time. Um, just from the teaser, I'm assuming this is how Mathal may have been killed, but the question now is why is the Red Lyrium idol being shown in this teaser trailer? Especially since we know that the Red Lyrium item that we first encountered in DA2 was destroyed or molded into the sword Meredith used and then eventually you know, blew up and then consumed her into making her a red lyrium statue in the um in the gallows and in, in kirkwall um but me uh perhaps it's what sodas is using in the future maybe it's just to connect the fact that we know that the idol was connected to red lyrium it seems um they want to draw more attention to the idol from da2 uh, mainly because we know what red lyrium is and that that idol is connected to red lyrium since that was the first instance of us as the audience and as the player character seeing it so I think that that might have been what they were drawn to and why they used the item idol in the video um, but also everything Solis does has a purpose and everything he uses does as well so and Solis is believes in poetic justice a lot of the time so I think he's going to use the red lyrium to slay the remaining elven, elven gods um, he said the way so long ago or use the red lyrium in some form against them to Sodas, this will only seem just since, if I'm right, to use Red Lyrium against them as they use it against Mathal. Also, it'd also be poetic justice if it was an idol made of Red Lyrium molded after Mathal. Because uh, that's kind of the person Sodas is. He literally is like a poetic justice type of person, like kind of an eye for an eye type of thing, which is funny. So maybe that's what he's using the Red, idol, the red Lyrium idol for, even though Sodas using Red Lyrium is a bit 
beard. Like, moving on, as we zoom out from the idol, we see it in the middle of three circles, which to me is very reminiscent of how the Black City is depicted in some art. Um, so immediately I think well, the idol is in a place of the Black City. Even the little rear lyrium chunk that's at the very bottom of the idol, it might depict the Black City maybe. It kind of looks like a city if you squint at it. I don't know, I'm probably just now just really speculating at this point. Um, but with the, uh, what we also see seven half circles on the innermost circle. Uh, seven exactly. Now, if you're a DA fan or if you've done any kind of theories or anything, you know Seven comes up a good few times in lore. Most known to be with the Seven Arch Archdemons and the Seven Remain Ever Nervous, not counting Madon and Fenharel. So, from what it looks like, and I would imagine many other DA theories uh, saw this as well, is that five of those half circles are complete black while two are still light. Immediately, I think of the Blights. They have, there have been five in the history of Thetas, thus the five circles that are black since the, those are the five archdemons that have been slain and killed. Um, and then the two that are still light are the two remaining archdemons that have not been you know, slain are still active, which reflect the two last circles which are still lit. Um, Sotus always seemed upset when we mentioned the archdemons and slaying them. Perhaps they were seals that kept Devoners contained. This may be why he detests the Great Warrens and killing the in the killing of the Archdemons because it would it would result in freeing Evernerus. Um, it's the first thought that came to my mind. It could be something else. There's a lot of instances of you know seven being used in Dragon Age lore, but you know just the, that was the first thing I thought of off the back when I saw the trailer. When I saw the half circles and the fact that there were five you know blacked out, two lit up. I'm pretty sure a lot of other D8 theories theorists have uh, come to that same conclusion but again only time will tell if that's right I don't know it's just the first thought I want to get this out there now as we keep zooming out we see two figures one is obviously Fenerel as depicted as a wolf with three eyes as we've seen so many times before then there's another figure who is clearly an elf at first I thought this was Sodas since there has been art with his elf form and his wolf form, but in those they were always going the same direction or in, the, or in unison while in the same image. Uh, but in this one, they are opposing each other. Perhaps the elf isn't Sodas, but someone else. However, I can't think of who it'd be. I doubt it's Elganon or any of the other Evanura since they're since they'd be sealed away. I don't think it's our character. So who is it? Maybe a forgotten one, a former servant of Thal. I really don't know. It could very well be Sodas, but the imagery just doesn't suggest that to me. The, there aren't any other bald elves that come to mind, and none that I can think of that would oppose Fenerel. Um, maybe if you want to stretch it, maybe it's about a, uh, about a sign from the Mass Empire, but as we know, Sodas kind of killed them in the Fade, and he should be, for the most part, tranquil if not dead. But I don't know if you want to also guess maybe Shartan. He was a bald elf. People always thought Shartan and Solus were the same people, but I never invested into that theory. It's just weird that there's another elf somewhat opposing uh, Fenerel at this point. Um, there, I think I also heard the theory that maybe the actual Dread Wolf is actually the Forgotten Ones and then the bald elf is actually Solus. I've heard, I've just in the not even a day since this teaser trailer came out there's already a lot of conspiracy theories and everything so which is good but i, I don't know i think the elf i think the 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 wolf is sodas um or maybe it's just poetic like maybe he's at odds with himself maybe both of the uh figures are sodas uh finn Harrell and sodas um, cause one Finn Harrell is supposed to be a larger than life character to the elves as a god. And then Solus is just an elf. He always saw himself as just another elf. Um, but maybe it depicts him at odds with himself on what he's about to do. I don't know. I'm kind of grasping the straws here, but it's hard to say who the other elf is. Um, if it isn't Solus, it's just all speculation, obviously. Now the end of the trailer, Solus says we found him at last. So while I'd like to think it's our Inquisitor who has found him, I'd assume it's our new protagonist who may have encountered Sodas at least once before while looking for him. Or maybe Sodas and our Inquisitor have a reunion of sorts. 
Regardless, I don't think a reunion with Sodas is going to be as smooth as last time, given that last time we lost a whole arm. Um, also, the fact that he still says, I suspect you have questions, is kind of foreboding to me. He says this at the end of Trespasser, and then drops some heavy lore info on us, um, like he's been around that he made the veil and so much more. So while I'm intrigued by what else he's going to reveal, either lore or story-wise, my brain may melt from what he may reveal to us this time. <laughs> then at the end, there, there, there's a hashtag, the Dread Wolf Rises. So uh, I guess if you want to follow all that kind of news and everything, you go follow that hashtag, the Dread Wolf Rises. I'm sure you're going to get a lot of DA4 theories, uh, speculation, suggestions, ideas. I'm, I'm sure you're going to get everything DA4 related as opposed to when, when this teaser tried to drop that ga the Game Awards. Um, but guys, I don't, I don't have a lot. I guess it's a very short trailer, but at the same time, there's not much to speculate on. At the same time, there's a lot to speculate on because of this. And Bioware and Dragon Age are really good at that. I mean, why drop the idol from DA2 into this? And when it, we expect that it's destroyed, it's so, it's so, there's so much to probably uncover and think about. And now it's just like, what what is this what why are y'all putting this here now is are both the figures sodas is it finarel and someone else who we it's there's so much speculation now what's the five what's the seven circles is it the arch demons is devon why red lyrium is sodas using it it's already weird it's it's a lot to speculate on and i'm guessing a lot more to come soon um all in all there isn't a lot to this trailer since it is a teaser but guys i'm so excited that after four years since inquisition dragon age is re revving back up um i'm really excited i do have to apologize obviously for the lack of content on my channel i mentioned in one of my last videos that i was I had recently moved to a new city and started a new job so it's been a little difficult to make videos as of late but that doesn't mean i've stopped thinking and talking about dragon age I have some new videos which I hope will be coming out soon and even been talking with some other DA fans which have started a discussion group called The Calling which you can definitely check out on The Kingdom's channel if you don't know who that is that's Cole from The Kingdom he does Dragon Age content a lot of lore videos and theories which is you definitely should check him out you can find a lot of great DA videos there um, as I said we, we me Cole and some wonderful women um, named Beth, Rent, and Zangies are now doing a kind of podcast talking about a lot of Dragon Age lore, the, the games, and everything that surrounds it. And that podcast is called According. Again, you can check it out on the Kingdom. That description, their links in the description will be below. And also, I want to give a shout out to someone who has who has been a great supporter of this channel, SM, or as you may know her as gourmet vegan th thetis again let me try that one more time gourmet vegan thetis she makes great blogs on vegan style foods inspired by the meals from dragon age and more so definitely check her out her info is in the description below as well i will link all of that down below also guys be sure to follow me on bioware amino dragon age amino reddit twitter all those good dragon age things uh hell let's <laughs> let's make hell actually you know what let's make our own hashtag for this hashtag the crimson wolf rises since we're coming back more videos coming soon and that's also a good way for me to keep up with everything you guys see keep up with the news um so make sure to make sure to do that on twitter and all that and make sure you follow me on twitter at crimson underscore wolf 13 and use that hashtag the crimson wolf rises as well as the dread wolf rises for all those da videos and all that dra exciting dragon age 4 news anyway wolf pack there is definitely more Dragon Age lore, theory, and news videos to come in the future. It's sure to be exciting. Until next time, later Rough Pack, Veneral, and Unsolved.